Hi everyone. So this video is going to be about the origins of genetic variation among offspring. So genetic variation is going to arise in each generation. Hence, this will contribute to evolution of species. This is mainly due to the behavior of chromosomes during meiosis and fertilization. As you can see in this slide, there are three primary sources of genetic variation which are independent assortment of chromosomes during meiosis, crossing over also during meiosis and last one is random fertilization. First, we'll be looking at the independent assortment of chromosome. So this will be the random orientation of homologous chromosome and usually happen during metaphase 1. Before we proceed further, let us recall what is the homologous chromosome. They are said to be homologous pair because there are two sets of sister chromatids which have the same length position of the centromere is also similar. In addition to that, this pair even carry genes that control the same inherited characteristic. Each pair is inherited, one from the mother and one from the father respectively. So back to the independent assortment of chromosomes. This mechanism will have the outcomes of four possible combinations of daughter cells. This is based on how these chromosomes are going to line up with one another at the metaphase split. For better understanding, refer to the illustration where these chromosome pairs have been color coded as blue and red. So each pair of chromosomes line up independently of the other pair at metaphase plate in meiosis 1. Here on your left side, you can see one of the possible outcome arrangement. After going all the division processes in meiosis, we could end up with combination 1 and 2. However, there are equally chance or possibility that these chromosome pairs may arrange themselves as you can see on the diagram on the right side. Hence, after going through all the same meiosis processes, we could end up with different kind of genetic material in the daughter cells or gametes of maternal and paternal chromosomes as you can see in combination 3 and 4. Now let's move to crossing over and see how this mechanism creates even more genetic variation among the offspring. Note that crossing over is going to produce recombinant chromosomes, which means this will be an exchange of DNA materials from each parent and results in mixture of genes from both sets. This process occurs in prophase 1 of meiosis. This process happens between two non-sister chromatids in homologous chromosomes pairs as they pair up side by side, gene by gene, in the process called synapsis. Even though crossing over can occur almost anywhere along each pair of chromosomes, it is important to also note that the trait or crossing over can only occur for the same gene between these homologous chromosomes. In human beings, crossover occurs on average 2 or 3 times per chromosome pair. 
Hence, this will greatly increase the variation among the eggs and sperm produced. You can see on this slide where homologous chromosomes are paired side by side in prophase 1 of meiosis and non-sister chromatids held together during synapsis. And at the end of the crossing over process, we have the production of daughter cells with recombinant chromosomes that varies from each other. The third mechanism that adds variations among the offspring is random fertilization. From the previous independent assortment and crossing over mechanisms that have created various of genetic combinations of the gametes produced, comes the random and natural selection in which any sperm can fuse with any ovum during fertilization to form a zygote. 